Hello everyone. We continue to show you programming products made by Macrolab IT company. Macrolab is an IT company specialized in business automation tools. In this video, we will show you an add-in made for travel companies with the help of Google Sheets. It is a software for financial reporting and CRM maintenance. Any kind of financial transaction is filled at first page. Each transaction is shown with a separate row. The field date, type of payment, currency, amount of transaction and other details. The amount of transaction can be a positive or a negative figure depending if it is a payment or return. As you see, we can choose the type of payment, currency and the client's names from drop-down list. It is a very useful in terms of avoidance of grammar misprints. Entries of drop-down list are linked from the second sheet which we name constants. Here we see names of banks and cash option at B column, which stands for type of payment. Then currencies, articles, clients' names, etc. If we know the telephone number of a client, we also fill it here in international format without plus or zeros, and that numbers are copied at first page with improved design. We can call the client directly by clicking on the number if our PC has appropriate calling device. For sure, it would be easier to call the client while using a smartphone. Let's see an example. First click, second click, and the call is made with a third click. Now let's see the procedure of making reports. At third sheet we see the interface of report by a common customer. We choose the name of a customer which is also shown in drop down list. As mentioned all names are based on entries filled in constant sheet. At the main page we see all transactions which refer to the chosen customer which is Luba in our case. Negative or return transactions have a minus sign and marked in red automatically to defer them easily. If we want to remove cash transactions or transactions of a common bank, we should delete appropriate cell here at the top. As this customer, Luba, doesn't have any transactions other than cash, so all rows are deleted accordingly. Let's return back cash transactions and calculate profitability of this client. For this we have a separate table at the right side. Here we have input and output amounts exchanged to the same currency. The formula calculates profitability automatically. We can also choose a common period for which we want to see the results. For example, let's filter only January. We see that the last row disappeared as it was out of our chosen range. Now let's see the reports by articles. Here we can choose and see what input and output was made by a common article. For example, we want to see what transactions were made during the stated period in respect of transport. The program filters our choice accordingly. The last sheet shows the report on balances by all banks, cash transactions, as well as by separate currencies. Here we can also choose a required period of time. That's all for today. You may subscribe to our channels in order not to miss our new tools. Our contacts are shown below this video. Thanks for your attention. See you.